Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new then hello my name is Kate and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my self care routine. I've just finished up my routine for the day and I'm feeling so so good compared to this morning. Filming this video came at the exact right time for me. I woke up feeling a little bit off, not my normal self, I felt a little bit anxious and now I feel like a different person because I've done all of the things I do whenever I need a bit of R&R, &R, a bit of self love and just a bit of a breather taking time out and I am really proud and excited to say that this video is sponsored by Elemis. You guys already know how much I love them because I'm always talking about them on all my social channels. So I'll be showing you some of my favourite skin and body care from Elemis and yeah the main aim of my self care days is to heighten my vibrations which which might sound a bit weird to some people if you're not really familiar with that kind of language but basically as humans um, everything actually is made out of energy and then that energy vibrates at different frequencies for different things so when you're in a really good mood and when you're feeling really positive you have a really high vibration which is going to draw things of a similar vibration towards you and it also works the opposite way so you know when you are having a bad day and things get worse and worse and worse because your energy and your vibrations are getting lower and lower and lower so you're attracting more of that towards you whereas when you're on a high frequency and you're feeling really great you are attracting more of that energy towards you so you end up feeling better so during my self-care days i try to raise that frequency raise those vibrations nice and slowly and then by the end of the day i just feel amazing so yeah self-care for your outside but most importantly for your inside as well so without further ado i will get into this video and show you everything i do to look after myself and hopefully this will inspire you guys to take some time out of the day to also look after yourselves because you are so important and you so deserve it so on my self-care days i like to wake up a little bit later even if it's just half an hour i think it makes such a difference as you can see See, I've woken up in a great mood. The first thing I do is open up my blinds and start filling out my five minute journal. I've been filling this out every single morning since I got it and it's just the most positive start to the day. I am obsessed. So you have three different sections and you just write out what you're grateful for, what would make the day great and your daily affirmations. I used to just write this out in my regular journal but ever since having this specific one it's really motivated me to do it every single day and I've just got into such a better routine with it. That is always my first task of the day before I go on my phone and then I will start getting cozy and light some candles. I feel like these are essential for cozy at home days. Then I'll head to the kitchen and make my favourite tea. This is the white tea in raspberry rose. It is just delicious. And I'll use my favourite mug, which is this gingerbread man mug, which brings me so much happiness. It's actually weird. I will then jump back into bed with my cup of tea and watch some YouTube or listen to an audiobook or even just watch some reality TV, whatever I'm in the mood for that day. This is one of my really simple pleasures in life. It just makes me feel so warm, so happy and safe. Once I'm done with this, I will start to make my bed and get up for the day. So plump the cushions, give it a bit of a freshen up. Another thing I do is mix fabric conditioner with water into a spray bottle and I'll spray this all over my sheets. Then pull the sheets nice and tight and what this does is gets rid of any wrinkles on the bed sheets and leaves them smelling freshly washed. It is just lovely. I'll then start to run myself a bath and I feel like daytime baths are just the epitome of a self-care day. In the evening I'll normally opt for the Elemis Skin Nourishing Bath Milk as it's very relaxing but during the day I prefer to use their Aching Muscle Super Soak as this has such an invigorating and fresh smell. It's also super bubbly and it makes your body feel amazing afterwards. Elemis currently have some really good Black Friday deals on. You can get 35% off their cool range and also a free gift if you spend £100. So whilst the bath was running, I thought I'd do a quick bit of hoovering and tidying up. I definitely feel more calm and relaxed when I know everything is clean and tidy and in its place. I think it's so much better to relax in that kind of environment rather than a messy one. It's also nice just to get a quick blast of productivity, get the body moving before winding down and relaxing for the rest of the day. I 
I'll then go on to make my morning smoothie and this is such a great way of getting loads of goodness in your body first thing. An interesting fact is that different foods actually have different vibrations and some foods vibrate higher than others. Foods with high vibrations include nuts, fresh fruit, vegetables, grains. So by consuming all of this, you're immediately going to be doing the world of good for both your mind and your body. I learned this from the book, Good Vibes, Good Life by Vex King. I'd highly recommend it. He goes into a lot of detail about vibrations and frequencies and he definitely explains the whole concept a lot better than I do so if you're interested in that sort of thing then definitely give his book a go anyway time to jump in the bath I'm just tying my hair up here and I'm gonna light some more candles because I am obsessed I've also filled up my bath tray with some of my bath essentials, like my smoothie, got some shower gel, face mask, exfoliate glove, razor, all the good stuff. I feel like there's nothing quite like a full shave and exfoliate in the bath. It always leaves me feeling so fresh and so new, like a dolphin, just love it. If I'm having a chilled out bath in the evening, I tend to just to watch a chilled out YouTube video, but during the day, I like my mind to be a little bit more stimulated, so I'm listening to an audiobook. Currently listening to Super Attractor by Gabrielle Bernstein. It's really good, especially if you're interested in manifesting and the law of attraction. And then that is my time just for completely relaxing, chilling in the bath and absorbing everything the audiobook is telling me. And I just really try to solely focus on the audiobook. If my mind does wander, I try to bring it back to listening. Once I am out of the bath, I will do my skincare, starting off with my LMS Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm. I've raved about this so much, you guys are probably sick of it, but it is just my absolute favorite cleanser. Today I took a little bit of extra time to really massage it into my face and enjoy the moment. Doing your skincare routine is actually such a lovely experience and I often find myself rushing through it. So on my self-care routine days, I try and take it a little bit slower. I'm also going to use my LMS Peptide 4 Thousand Flower Mask today. This is so lovely and cooling on the skin and it applies like a velvety mousse. It is just gorgeous. This really helps to revitalize dull skin. It also dislodges any dead skin and targets visible pores. I will leave this on my face for around 20 minutes and in the meantime, I will moisturize my body whilst it's all nice and warm from the bath. I have recently been using the LMS Cellutox Active Body Oil. This smells like a spa and it detoxifies and softens your skin and even though it is an oil, it doesn't have that greasy, oily feeling. And then here I'm just adding my 100% castor oil to the roots of my hair and giving it a good massage in. This feels so nice and it really promotes hair growth and scalp health. The castor oil is a little bit heavy for the rest of my hair, so I will then go in with my Bondi Boost Elixir Oil, which is much more suited to the ends. It has coconut oil, jojoba oil, castor oil, and lots of other goodness. So I coat this all over and then tie it in a bun. I will then remove my face mask with a hot cloth and continue with the rest of my skincare. To tone, I use the LMS Balancing Lavender Toner. This is my second bottle. I just love it so much. It is so refreshing. A new addition to my LMS collection is this Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil, which I got after loving the cleansing balm so much. I usually apply this in the evening and then you wake up with the most beautiful, glowing, plump skin. I really think that this has saved my skin during these colder months. LMS actually do this rose oil and their cleansing balm in a Christmas gift set, which is 30% off for today only. Here I'm using my Gaucha, which is really great at lymphatic draining, which basically tones your face and reduces any puffiness. I've definitely noticed a difference in using this and it's really great alongside with the oil. And you want to be using this in upwards motions away from the face, starting from the inside going outwards. And then to finish off, I will use my Marlin and Goetz lip balm. And that is my skincare done, so I'm now going to get into my comfortable clothes. This set is from the Nouveau Edit. I will link it down below. It feels just like cashmere. And they are a cute little independent brand. 
Even on my cosy at home days, I still like to wear perfume. I find that smelling good makes me feel really good. Currently loving this Charlotte Tilbury one. It smells very homely, very cosy, whilst also being fresh and feminine. B had just got home and bought me some hot chocolate and a cake, so I was very happy at this point. So I've now sat down to do a little bit of journaling. I thought I would share with you guys a little journaling exercise that I do, which really helps me to boost my mood. So you want to write down three things that you are grateful for, three things that make you happy, and three things that you are excited about in the future. This could be the near future or the far distant future, just something that is making you feel excited. If you would like to challenge yourself, try increasing three to 10. This is a lot harder, but it really does make you think about things that you might have not thought about before. But anyway, here are some examples of my answers of things I'm grateful for, things that make me happy and things I'm excited about. One thing that always excites me is vision boards. I absolutely love them. I've got a video on how I make them, which I'll link in the description box down below. For me, they are just the ultimate motivation and they always help me to get out of a rut when I'm stuck in one. Normally I'll do quite personal ones based on my life or my career, any aspirations and goals that I have. But today I thought we'd do one together. I'm gonna to be showing you a bit of a Christmas mood board. If you haven't already noticed, I am very excited about Christmas this year. So I thought this would be perfect in making me feel really good. I make mine by gathering pretty images off Pinterest and then putting them onto Photoshop. You don't need Photoshop though. You can use PowerPoint, Keynote, Canva, any of those will do. for some lunch i'm just cooking some veggie chicken and spinach in a pan whilst i do so i'm cutting up some orange to put it in my water i know it's an obvious one but drinking lots and lots of water throughout the day will always make you feel great My lunch today was a super quick and easy one. I've just got some wholemeal grains with veg, spinach, veggie chicken, and a little bit of cheese, seasoned with garlic, paprika, and lime. So there's a good amount of fibers, protein, and veg. And I'm just eating this whilst watching some TV on my laptop. I'm really fussy with the TV I watch, especially on self-care days. They have to have good vibes or I'm not gonna watch it. Another really nice thing to do on your self-care days is to do an activity that will really quieten the mind. For me, this is playing the piano as I can only really think about what I'm doing in that very moment. But for other people, this could be things like cooking, baking, reading, watching TV, or even gaming. I just think that anything that requires your full attention whilst also being relaxing is the perfect combination. I also think it's really important and good for the mental health to go get some fresh air on a quick little walk. So I grabbed all of my stuff, put my AirPods in and listened to an audiobook. And then when I got home, I poured B and myself a lovely glass of red wine. One of our favorite things to do is just to sit on the sofa with a glass of wine, some snacks and just chat or watch a movie. Tonight we watched Notting Hill, which is one of my faves. One thing that will always put me in a good mood is FaceTiming my parents and our little kitten Jasper. Obviously I can't see them at the moment so FaceTiming is more important than ever for me. I will then finish my day with how I started it by filling out my five minute journal. The last two sections are what made today amazing and what could have made today better. And that is the end of my self-care day. I will also, of course, do my skincare and get into pyjamas after this. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do let me know what you do on your self-care days as well, because I would love to know. I love you all so, so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.